Today we're hitting up the Anaheim Packing District, only a short drive from Disneyland. We check out the different food stalls and find out which flavors are the best. We also go on a brewery crawl to find the best brewery in the thriving Anaheim beer scene. Join us as we discover the best flavors in Anaheim. District Food Hall. It is the Grand Central of the OC. If you are coming to Anaheim area, if you're specifically coming to Disneyland, make sure you make the 10 minute drive to check out this food hall. They have everything you can think of here. They have Indian food, they have Asian food, Cajun, Thai, Mexican dessert, beer, cocktails. They actually also have a speakeasy where you have to make a reservation. We're gonna have to come back and check that out. But they have live music on the weekends here as well from 7 to 9 p.m. I believe. The ambiance here is like an open warehouse kind of feel with like the decor, the plants hanging, the greenery. It doesn't really feel like you're inside of a packing container. They've actually been here for about 10 years. They also have vendors and a little store with knickknacks that you can find, jewelry and little souvenirs of the packing district. The parking is a little tight. They have a valet parking for $8, which is probably your best bet because it is popping in here. So many people are coming. You can also find parking on the street, but again, very busy. Anaheim has free transportation. It's called the Fran, and you just have to download the app, and it's about a five mile radius where you get picked up like an Uber, except it's free for Anaheim. There's so many options here, so now we're gonna go try and decide what looks good. So let's go check it out. delicious places that you can grab some food here. I ended up going with the Mediterranean. I got a chicken Sharma wrap and they were giving free testers of their lemonades. There's the mint and a strawberry and they got me. This was actually so good and so refreshing. Their wrap was about $14. I'm gonna be completely honest. It looks a little small so I do hope that it's delicious so that it makes up for the price. It's, it has, the flavors are there, but I feel like it needs a little bit more sauce, but it's, it's good. They do have a quesapita, which is like a quesadilla on pita. That looks like it has more sauces and it might have a little bit more flavor, but maybe, maybe I just need a little hot sauce. I went with the meatball sub from Iron Press. This thing is loaded. These meatballs are huge and it has a lot of marinara and cheese. Look at how steaming it is. It's really hot. Okay. I've already waited about five minutes for it to cool down, but I don't think I could wait any longer. So I'm just gonna go for it. And if I burn myself, oh well. Great. Mm. That is really good. Mm. Those meatballs are bursting with flavor, man. Wow. And the bread, it's like, very lightly toasted on the outside, but it's very soft on the inside. I don't need a lot of meatball subs, but this is one of my, the best subs I've ever had. Yeah. Mm. And of course, we couldn't come to the packing district without having some dessert. You can customize your paleta here. We got a milk yogurt pistachio bar, and we have dipped it in dark chocolate. There's different types of chocolates. And then your topping, which is like nuts and almonds and sprinkles. But we did pistachio on pistachio. So let's go, let me take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm-hmm. We're here at Villains Brewing Company, only about a five minute walk from the Anaheim Packing District. This is one of our favorite breweries in Anaheim because they have great beer 
delicious food and the outdoor patio is amazing. A lot of TVs here, so if you want to catch a game, it's perfect for that. It's also perfect to host a party, a gathering. Like the people behind us, they've been here a while, you can tell. We ordered a flight of their delicious beers, so right now I'm having Juicy Dangerously. Let's see how it tastes. It smells amazing. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. So the flight comes with four, four ounce tasters. This next one is called Hereditary and it's a fruit beer. Okay, fire emoji, it's an IPA. Mmm, actually that's pretty damn good. If I had to pick an emoji to describe this, it'd be the party emoji, because it's making me want to get up and dance. This place also has a killer theme, literally. The walls are decorated with some of the most notorious assassins in cinema. You got Freddy, you got Jason, you got Michael Myers, you got Darth Vader, Razor Ramon, bunch of badasses. This brewery's only been open a pretty short period of time, I think over a year or so, or less, but they've already brought home quite a few medals at the Great American Beer Festival, so they've got a great guy in the back, Brad, who's making some amazing beer. So I'm excited to see what's ahead for them. So like we said, they do host big groups here. You can make a reservation. I really recommend you book this place for a huge gathering because everything that they do is so accommodating to you and making sure that your experience here is top notch. So as you saw, the Packing District has a lot of places for you to catch a drink, get some beers and cocktails. But right across the Packing District, you'll also find Unsung Brewing. We had a couple of tasters and they are so good. It's a really cute little theme here. Well, not cute if you're a man. They have a comic book theme here and they have a few little outdoor little seating areas and right across from it they also have Cali wine which is like a cellar. They have wines from multiple locations but we opted for beer today. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the beer we've had so far? So far the beer has been great but we haven't had, we haven't necessarily been to the Mecca of beer here which is Monkish. If but, you've seen our, la our latest video, or one of our latest, Monkish was the best brewery in LA. So let's see if Monkish is the best brewery in Anaheim. You never know, it might not be. Right outside the Piking District, they also have a little area called like the backyard, I believe it is. And at the end of that backyard, you have Monkish, which if you've checked out our must-see, our must-visit breweries in LA, we rated Monkish, and by we, I mean Nick, rated Monkish the number one brewery in LA. So we're here with the Monkish in Anaheim because it's just as good. They don't have the same things on the menu on, at both locations, so it's always good to try both. Yep. Yep. We're here to enjoy some of the best beer in LA in Southern California, and it never disappoints. This one is a uh, triple IPA. It's called Backpack Full of Cans. I assume either because it's good for going hiking or because you can't leave home without it. Oh, yes, this is delicious. This is called the Black Kisses, and it's a farmhouse saison, and it's aged in oak wine barrel so if you know me big wine girl over here it smells delicious oh it smells so good Ooh, that's very soury but it's good ignore my reaction that was really good this is good mm -hmm. The packing district in Anaheim is packing some serious flavor. It's perfect for a lunch or dinner date, or if you're looking for a quick bite after visiting the happiest place on earth, which is only a mile away. The food stalls offer a diversity of flavors with tons of gourmet options on their menu. And your eyes will also be nourished by the aesthetic architecture and decor. You can also get a sip of Anaheim's thriving beer scene at one of their seriously hip breweries. Monkish brews some of the best beer in Southern California, and Villains is sure to satisfy every horror fan's taste buds. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for future travel videos. 
Thanks for watching and catch you on the road. That guy's wearing your shirt over there. Look at that sausage ball. Don't fuck with my process, okay? <laughs> Jesus.